Welcome to Dignitani Volleyball TV News. I'm your host, Pablo RPI. With me is Aaron Brackett, our resident women's volleyball expert. Aaron, what's on tap for our viewers this evening? Thanks, Pablo. We have so much to cover, starting with a sweep by the Penn State women's volleyball team of the Texas Longhorns last night. Can't wait, Aaron. But first, we have our disclaimers again. Would you like to try them, Aaron? It would be my pleasure, Pablo. Dignity Volleyball TV News is not sponsored by, or affiliated in any way with, Penn State University or any of its teams, or anything like that. Nicely done, Aaron. But I'm not done, Pablo. Oh, okay, go on then. You are doing very well. Okay, I will. So, some other disclaimers are that any views or opinions presented in this animation are solely those of animated, fictional characters, and do not necessarily represent those of any human being who is compass mentis. Pablo. When they say, animated characters, do they mean us? Sometimes I worry that I am not very animated. Do you? I sometimes feel that my delivery is a bit flat. Do you think my delivery is a bit flat, Pablo? Oh no, Aaron. I think you are very, very animated. Do you think I am very animated? Oh yes, Pablo, I think you are very, very animated. But now for the news. Sounds great, Aaron. So, what happened last night in the Penn State, Texas semi-final match? Well, Pablo, it was a bit of a surprise. Many people were expecting the match to go to five sets, with the fifth set won, 15-13, on a cross-court sizzler. Instead, Penn State rocketed out of the gate, grabbed a 10-1 lead in the first set, and never looked back. The Nittany Lions swept Texas by scores of 25-13, 25-13, and 25-22. Did that surprise you, Aaron? That surprises me. Well, Actually, it did surprise me. But, I will admit it, Pablo, I was pleased. Although newscasters are supposed to be neutral observers and not interject their opinions and views into the stories they cover, I'm really a huge Penn State fan. Actually, Pablo, I was rooting for Penn State. I am knitting Russ Rose a sweater. I thought Penn State really rocked. It must have been an exciting match. What did the Russ Rose and the Penn State players have to say after the match? Russ Rose said it was a match where serving and passing really proved to be the key points. He thought Penn State's ball control in those two areas was pretty good and that the serving was good. He said that Deja McClendon had a great night offensively and Ariel Scott had a great night. And he thought that Kristen Carpenter, who our producer has told us we must say, whenever we mention her name, is only 5 feet 6 inches tall, set a great match. Kristen Carpenter said she ate her Wheaties for breakfast. Oh, and all the players said they area focusing on Saturday night's match, which will be against California. Thanks, Aaron. What did the Texas coach and players have to say? It was a tough defeat for Texas, but they were very gracious in the post-match press conference. Texas head coach Jared Elliott congratulated Penn State head coach Russ Rose and his program. Did I mention I am needing a sweater for Russ Rose? No? Yes? He likes sweaters. Did you know that? Anyway, coach Elliott said Penn State played exceptionally well. He said Texas ran into a buzzsaw with Penn State. He also talked about the leadership Texas had from the seniors to get to this point and the lasting impression that they'll leave on the Texas program. Julian Fossett said the match was surprising because of how hot Texas was coming in and just how good Texas had been at crunch time during the season. She said Texas really never gave itself a chance to push a crunch time in this match. Thanks, Aaron. That was a very nice report, and I thought you were very animated. Our time is just about up, though. So we'll have to wait until next time to tell you about Penn State's upcoming match against California. So for me, Pablo RPI, goodbye for now and see you next time. And for me, Aaron Brackett, thanks for joining us, and see you next time.